Hello my friends, in this tutorial I'm going to explain you how to use a track mat effect in Premiere Pro CS5. Okay, first you can see that I create a sequence with one video layer. In the first video is called Harbor to Opera. And you can actually see how I can preview that video layer. I have another two layers extra, video layer number two and three. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop on video layer number two a clip that is called backdrop. That's the same length clip. As you can see is this is what I'm going to use to track mat with a different a graphic that I'm going to put later on top on video layer number three. Uh, this backdrop is a little bit short. So what I'm going to do, I click on the program window and I expand it to the maximum size to cover the whole video. Okay, you can see it's covered now. And on video layer number three, I'm going to drop a graphic that I have. You can see here on the track mat project, a, what I'm going to be masking or track matting. Okay, I drop it on the video layer number three and I expand it to the length of the video so as you can see it covers the whole workspace and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the track mat key effect to do it uh, as you know the track mat uh, creates transparent areas in a clip that corresponds to the luminance levels of a different clip uh, the masking is basically calculated by either the alpha channel or the luma values of the element that I use as a track mat. Okay, to apply the track mat, I go into the effects window, type track mat, and you can see it's under keying, and the track mat effect is here. I drop it into video layer number two. Once I have it on video layer number two, I go into the effects controls and then expand the little effects triangle and the mat, I apply that mat to video layer number three. As you can see, it's already applied, but the reason why it doesn't appear is because the masking is calculated by either the alpha channel or the luma channel. I have in the composite uh, section alpha channel, but I have to select Luma. So when I select Matt Luma, I got the magic happening. As you can see, I can preview a little bit and you can see everything happening in the screen. One thing that I'm not happy with it is that this, le this size is a little bit too small. You can't really see everything there. So I'm going to go back on video layer number three. And then as when that is click, I click on the window and make it a little bit smaller. So it covers a little bit more of the program window. And I do a preview. Go back to the to, with the CTI to the beginning of the clip, and press the space bar. Okay, as you can see, the track mat is being applied to the clip. I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and then good luck trying to do this. Bye.